Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to test the new NB miner with its partial unlock for light hash rate LHR GPUs. All right, so let's get started here. So I have three GPUs that I'd like to test in this video. In my test bench right now, I have my 3080 Ti. I also have a 3070 Ti ready to go. And then this is a version two 3060. So this is the LHR version, not the original run, which I guess we call the nerfed version. And what I like to do is just see what kind of hash rate improvements we get. Can we get up to that promised 70% unlock? These graphics cards right now, as you may know, do about 50% is what the guess is of what they should be able to do on Ethereum. And so this gets us one step closer to where we need to be with mining on these graphics cards. So let's switch over here to the test bench and we're taking a look at NV Miner. So NV Miner version 39 came out just a couple days ago and it includes this new dash LHR argument that works only for Edhash, which is Ethereum's algorithm. And the way that this works is you get to fine tune this a little bit. And when you use this argument, you get to define what you want the LHR unlock value to be. And the reason that you need to do this is because at some point the limiter will kick in. So what you're really looking to do is find the number that brings you right underneath that threshold so that you can get some more performance out of this GPU. One thing that you absolutely need to do and caught me up while I was originally testing this is make sure you're not on Windows driver 471.11. Guess what? That's the exact driver I was on when I first started testing this and I was going insane wondering why it wasn't working. So let's dive in. We have this 3080 Ti here ready to go and I have that mining with T-Rex miner and I have it mining on Ethereum, what you might be running on it with 1200 memory overclock and for this video just because we're looking to see what the hash rates improvements are i'm just going to run the power limits at 100 percent i'm not looking for efficiency or anything right here i just want to see how much we can improve that stock hash rate with a memory overclock on it so you can see this gpu out of the box using t-rex with a memory overclock is giving about four, uh, 64 mega hash per second so what we're going to do now is switch over to NB Miner and see how much we can improve upon that. So I'm going to go ahead and close out T-Rex Miner there. And let's open up the NB Miner folder that I have. And in here, what I want to show you, if we go over to the batch file, is I have found that with the dash LHR argument, this specific GPU seems to work best with a 69 value here. And the other thing that I found that was really interesting is I have to dial back my memory overclock to get a better result. And I found that this card does pretty well at 900. That's the best uh, hash rate that I can get out of it. So let's go ahead and start this up. And we're gonna let this settle out as it mines. But before we do that, what I wanna show you is that it will show and reflect right here in the green that it's using LHR mode 69. If you don't see that come up in your miner, you are probably not on the right uh, version of the driver or using that, that version that doesn't work. So let's let this settle out and then we're gonna check what hash rates we get and measure what the improvement is over using T-Rex miner without the unlock. Okay, so checking back in here, you can see that we're getting 79 mega hash now using uh, NB miner with the LHR argument. And I'm using the web interface here too. You can see we got an accepted share ready to go and we're getting, yeah, 79 mega hash. I've seen it get up to 80 mega hash. It kind of fluctuates up and down one or two mega hash. But I'll tell you, if you're testing this and doing this yourself, if you get wild swings in mega hash, then you're probably hit the threshold for where the limiter is kicked in. And I would recommend either down clocking your memory a little bit from where you have it or reducing the dash LHR number that you have in there. So again, this is running with dash LHR 69 and I had to take back the memory to 900 here. If I up it at all, the hash rate will drop as a limiter kicks in. So that is where I had to settle out. And so that's our improvement here. So we went from 64 mega hash 
up to 78, 79, and even 80 mega hash. So we're getting there. It's an improvement. Progress is progress, um, but still a really good sign. So let's do this. I'm going to get this GPU out of here. We'll get the 3070 Ti in, and we'll test that out next. So I have the 3070 Ti rolling in there. Man, this thing takes three 8 pins. That 3080 Ti only took two. Uh, it's totally crazy. So I have this run in. We'll switch over to the test bench again. And you can see I'm running uh, T-Rex Miner again. And we're getting 44, almost 45 mega hash. I got the memory clock completely maxed out on this GPU. So that's the benchmark. Let's see what we can get when we switch over to NB Miner here. So I'm going to close out T-Rex. And what I have found as I have tested this a little bit, is that the same 69 in the LHR argument seems to work well for this GPU. And then the thing that I found, and we'll test it again as this loads up, is that it liked the memory pushed all the way up, whereas that 3080 Ti gave me some problems and I had to dial it back a pretty good amount. But this GPU seems to like the 1500 on the memory, which is maxed out here. So uh, I'll let this settle out and we'll check back in a sec. All right, let's check it out here. So you can see we're getting just about 54 mega hash uh, in the miner here. And over in the web GUI, you can see that we're getting about 55. So it's been bouncing around between like 53, 55 mega hash, which is great. That's a 10 mega hash improvement over what we were getting using T-Rex miner. So that's what I'm able to get on this 3070 Ti. Let's get this 3060 in and we'll test that out next. What you're looking at is the RTX 3060 mining Ethereum right now using T-Rex miner. And I just have the memory overclocked to 1300, which I know from all my other 3060s it, it likes. And the one thing that I wanted to take a look at for this GPU, and I actually just opened it, is this one is the version two. And how you can tell is if you open up GPU Z here, the device ID, this one's a 2504, which tells me that this is the remodel. This is the light hash rate version. Um, the initial run is a 2503, and that's the one that you can use the development driver and get full hash rate out of it. So this one is mining 26 and a half mega hash. And what we're gonna do is close this down. And I already did some testing uh, using NB miner. And same story here, it likes 69 on the LHR argument. I tried 70, but just a drastic reduction in hash rate. It really liked 69, and I was able to keep the same memory overclocks that I would have used uh, for Ethereum mining. So, you know, on the 3070 Ti, I was able to keep the same memory overclocks, but on the 3080 Ti, I really had to bring them down and it wasn't because of thermal throttling or anything like that. I'm not really sure what's happening there. Maybe it's just something with my GPU specifically, um, but I did want to call that out as something that I ran into. So we'll let this miner settle out here and then we'll check right back. So we've got some initial hash rates here. So you can see we're hitting 34 mega hash per second, 33 mega hash per second on NB miner using 69 as the number four light hash rate. And checking in the web here, you can see that's where it's kind of fluctuating, 33, 34, uh, which is great, which is, you know, a, a pretty big improvement from where it was. So that is it. That is the graphics cards that I have that are light hash rate that I can test and we can see what the results will be, what the differences will be. If you do the math, it's around a 22 to 25, maybe 26 percent increase in hash rate depending on the exact GPU I was testing. This is great. I This is progress, right? So I know that we're all hoping for that 100% unlock so we can mine on these GPUs that we invested our money in on Ethereum like we want to. But I think this is great to see. There's work being done behind the scenes. The financial incentive is there for either the developers of this mining software or other people in the space to figure this out and get these mining at full hash rate. I would love to know any results you have gotten. If you are able to get better results with different settings, please let me and the community know down in the comments section. I really appreciate that. 
If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more content on GPU mining. The link to my Discord is in the description below if you'd like to chat. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video.